Hi, I'm Doug Morris. I'm the founder and chief product officer of CSI. I'm here to show you how to run dues renewals using the IMIS data management suite. Let's get started. Okay, first off, the IMIS data management suite is going to call a dues billing cycle. So you're going to need to set up your dues billing cycle. I've got one set up here as member individual. And you can see I'm going to be billing my member individual member type or customer type. I'm uh, anniversary billing and it's cash. Cool thing about this, you can do accrual dues billing as well, but this is gonna be cash for this uh, example. What IDMS is going to do is actually mimic what IMIS does. And so the real power of automation here is to schedule your dues billing to automatically occur every month. So if you think about what you would normally do every month in IMIS for a anniversary cash billing, I would go out here, I would choose a billing cycle name, uh, a run name, if you will, I would now go choose member individual renewals, I would pick a bill date, probably today, notice it defaults to IMIS is going to pick the effective date, I could change that if I needed to, and I would hit generate bills. Notice I could pass an individual ID. I could actually use an IQA or a chapter. So all of these are going to be available for you in IDMS. But there's one more thing you're gonna need before you jump into IDMS, and that is an IQA. So I want an IQA that's gonna return one record, and I've made that. I made that actually, notice my name, my description. I chose the source of net contact data, and my filter was three. If you're on EMS, you have an ID three in your database and it will always be there. If you're on 2017, look up your manager IMS ID and use that. For my display, I really only need one field and that is today's date. That's the proper way to get today's date there, format and then DBO, ASI underscore get app date time. And then I like to format it. This is the proper way to get your current organization's date and time. So if I run this, it does a whopping one record return. That's what I want, because just like IMIS, I'm going to one screen and running something. Let's go into IDMS and actually schedule this to run automatically every month. Okay, I'm in IDMS. Whoops, I'm not in IDMS. Let's go ahead and jump into IDMS. Here we go, I'm gonna use iUpdate. I'm gonna choose that IQA that I created that returns one and only one record. In that case, it's my date today. Next, I'm gonna choose insert. I could do update, the renewal action works the same, but I'm gonna just choose insert. I've actually gone and done all the mappings for you. So let's go look at what these mappings look like. My billing cycle is member individual. I just type that in. It has to match what I have here in IMIS. So the billing cycle name must match exactly. Next up was my billing run name. And that is up to you. I called it individual billing. So back here, notice it was monthly billing for individuals. I happen to call it monthly individual billing for this case. Whoops. Next, I have my effective date. That's actually where I've gone and mapped that one field from my IQA today. Finally, I want to tick the checkbox is renewals. I'm going to set that to true because just like here, I do need to tick that renewals checkbox, renewals or rebuild. It's ready to go. I'm going to now schedule this as a task to run monthly. So I can go out here and just paste something in and then I would do my schedule builder and choose how often I want it to run every month, save, and then hit save. That has been scheduled, it's ready to go. Uh, I can run that at any time just by hitting this arrow and let's just do it. So this is gonna go I'll run it now. Remember, if you were running in a cruel dues billing cycle, you are going to need to post the batch when you're set, all said and done. But this is gonna automatically run my individual billing for all my members every month on the first of the month. That's how fast it is. Now that we're done, we are set. There's nothing more we have to do. So as always, if you have any questions and you want to or want to learn more, all of our documentation is online and you can find it at docs.csiinc.com. Our support link is there as well. 
uh, unlimited support with IDMS. Thank you so much.